Welcome to this week's class, When Your Health Matters, a class designed to empower you to better health through knowledge and education. And I'm your host, Dr. Richard Huntoon from Advanced Alternative Medicine Center. We're located at 138 Canal Street in Pooler Park, that is in Pooler, Georgia. We're in Suite 404 of Building 400. Uh, if you'd like to stop into the office, that would be great. I'd love the opportunity to meet you and understand the concerns that you have and help to... Uh, evaluate a little bit about what's going on based on my own curiosity. I always uh, have a tendency to do that because uh, I want to answer the questions that I have related to why you're uh, presenting the way that you are. But uh, people are still a little reticent to uh, come out into public with uh, the pandemic still uh, winding down. Uh, that's what our hope is. Um, so if you don't want to stop into the office, the next best way to get a hold of me would be to call my cell phone directly, area code 845-561-2225, again 845-561-2225. Um, please do not text that phone as that phone is not equipped to receive texts. I will never get those texts and I will never get back to you. And that would basically defeat the purpose for you reaching out to me. Uh, but if you want to use that technology, you can always email me directly at docrick at spineboy.com. That's D-O-C-R-I-C-K at spineboy.com. And it would be my pleasure to help you to better understanding with the concerns you have regarding your health. Uh, let's face it, with the last 18 months of uh, essentially being in quarantine and locked down, uh, if your state hasn't fully opened yet, um, you know, it's very difficult. So more and more people... I predict are going to develop gallstones and develop gallbladder issues. Gallstones are very common in our society um, and because of the pandemic and people not being able to exercise their free will to do the things that they'd like to do uh, like travel or, or uh, interact with your uh, neighbors, family members and friends, go out to eat, uh, just return to normal life, um, that's going to create a lot of repressed anger, frustrations, and, uh, you know, resentments. And that all creates gallbladder stress. And so gallstones are the result of long-standing repressed anger. And again, uh, with people's finances being hit with uh, what's going on in our economy, um, I anticipate with all that repressed anger and resentments and frustrations that uh, gallbladder uh, issues and gallstones will uh, begin to increase if they haven't increased already. Um, and I would like to help you appreciate what you can do to help yourself in an effort to be proactive so that when you have a meeting with your GI doctor, your gastrointestinal doctor, uh, and they're telling you that you need to uh, have your gallbladder removed, um, you will have some resources to keep your gallbladder and not set yourself up for a whole bunch of uh, digestive issues that will result once you have your gallbladder removed. Um, having helped countless people uh, keep their gallbladders over the last 30 plus years, um, I know what you need to do in order to uh, return your gallbladder to normal function, uh, help you keep your gallbladder, uh, and certainly help you prepare your gallbladder for a gallbladder flush if uh, we determine that's in your best interest. Um, once you've done the protocol uh, for at least three months uh, prior to doing a flush, um, that should prepare your gallbladder appropriately so that uh, when you do the flush you won't have any complications. Uh, please appreciate that uh, the information I'm sharing with you today is vitally important that you do it with proper supervision. If you're not doing this with proper supervision and uh, you create a complication for yourself, then you may have no choice but to have emergency gallbladder surgery because whatever you're trying to flush out of your gallbladder will have gotten stuck in the bile duct and uh, that's a um, severe situation that uh, requires immediate uh, surgical intervention. So if you'd like to avoid that, please heed the warning. Uh, please pay attention to what we're going to go over and uh, please don't do this without proper supervision. Uh, I've helped people all over the world do this uh, and I would certainly like to help you if that's uh, something that you deem appropriate for yourself. Um, first and foremost, you will need to have an ultrasound 
to get an understanding of what's actually going on within your gallbladder currently. Uh, you want to have an ultrasound done so that you can see uh, which situation is uh, yours that you're dealing with. Are you dealing with stones? Are you dealing with a porcelain gallbladder? Are you dealing with a sluggish gallbladder? Are you dealing with sludge within the gallbladder? Uh, these are all questions that need to be answered to help me appreciate the uh, length of time that you're going to need to do this natural gallstone therapy um, process. Uh, you will certainly need to do it for at least one month. Uh, I typically ask people to do it for three months uh, and then have another uh, ultrasound so that we can see how things have changed and to see if your gallbladder is ready for flushing. I can tell you and some of the people that I've worked with that uh, once it comes time for going up for their follow-up ultrasound before flushing, um, their gastroenterologist scratches their head and tries to figure out, well, hmm, there's no longer gallstones in there. They don't ever ask what happened. They don't ever ask what the patient did, uh, which I think would be important to allow the person to uh, learn a little bit about what's possible instead of just rushing a person into gallbladder surgery. But these things happen. So once that's determined with a follow-up ultrasound and we see that your gallbladder is ready for flushing, um, the following supplements you will need uh, for preparing your gallbladder for the flushing. Okay, uh, we're going to need a supplement called disodium phosphate. You're going to want to take one capsule half an hour before each meal and you want to do that three times a day. And that involves uh, taking it with a uh, glass about eight ounces of, of room temperature or warmer water which will help the uh, um, disodium phosphate work better. Uh, you want to take one dropper of fast food liquid just before lunch. Again, with a glass of warm water. This will help to take away some of the tartness of the fast food. Trust me, it's very tart. Um, and will help the fast food to get into your uh, digestive system efficiently to help uh, with the preparation of the gallbladder. Um, you're going to take uh, one choline tablet at the beginning of each meal. And the choline will actually help to prepare the gallbladder route, the bile duct, for flushing. Um, help to get rid of some of the stress and pressure that would be already in the gallbladder if, if we're going to be going through this process. And you're going to take two capsules of Livaplex in the middle of each of your meals three times a day. And lastly, you're going to take two beta food tablets after each meal three times a day. So to review that again, one disodium phosphate, one capsule, half hour before each meal, three times a day. One dropper of fast food liquid right before lunch with a glass of warm water. Uh, one choline tablet at the beginning of each meal, three times a day. Uh, two Livaplex capsules in the middle of each meal, three times a day. And two beta food tablets after each meal three times a day. So um, ideally this should be done for a minimum of one month uh, with a follow-up ultrasound to see that the gallbladder has uh, been fully prepared. If you've done the natural gallstone therapy correctly uh, for the proper amount of time that we are going to determine prior to you starting this therapy that requires you and me to actually have a sit down. Um, when you have your follow-up ultrasound, you should be ready for the gallbladder flush. And once you are fully ready, you will do the gallbladder flush for three nights in a row just before bedtime. And um, I'm going to refrain from telling you what the actual gallbladder flush formula is, uh, simply because uh, it's important for you not to just do this without any supervision. So for those of you who want to do this gallbladder flush, uh, you have to go through the preparation. Uh, you need to have a consultation with me prior to doing that. Uh, we will do a brief evaluation. Uh, we will get a sense of how long you need to do the preparation. And uh, once you've had a, a follow-up confirmation ultrasound indicating that your gallbladder is ready for flushing, at that point I will give you the formula that you're going to do three nights in a row. and. Um, that's really it. 
And uh, what I've seen over the years, last 30 years, of all the people that have done this gallbladder preparation with gallbladder flush following it, is every last one of them goes back to having a normal functional gallbladder as a result of going through this process. So if you have a dysfunctional gallbladder, if you already have gallstones, a porcelain gallbladder, you have gallbladder sludge, or just a slow functioning gallbladder, uh, and your doctor is talking about prepping you for surgery to have that gallbladder removed, they do over a million of these a year. Uh, if you don't want to be one of those million uh, people uh, and you want to actually win the lottery so that you can keep your gallbladder, I would love the opportunity to speak with you and have a conversation. So please feel free to give me a call again at area code 845-561-2225. Uh, you can email me directly at docrick, D-O-C-R-I-C-K, at spineboy.com. Or you can stop into my uh, office at 138 Canal Street in Pooler Park. It is in Pooler, Georgia, in Suite 404 of Building 400. And it would be my pleasure to help you understand what's going on with your gallbladder and what you can do to keep it. So I want to thank you for tuning in. Please tune back in next week. Same health time, same health station. This is Dr. Richard Huntoon from Advanced Alternative Medicine Center saying, I look forward to supporting you when your health matters.